If you have any $2 bills, you want to watch this whole video because we're going to show you some that are extremely rare and valuable. All right, we're going to start off here with a $2 bill from 2017. Now, this bill is a star note. So, you know, some star notes can be very common and not sell for much money at all. Some can be valuable like this one. This $2 bill actually sold for $180 because... You'll see the left side of the bill, this star has that openness in the middle of the star the way it's supposed to be. But on the right side of the bill, you'll see that it has a solid star error. So that is an error that gives the bill some extra value. Of course, the grade or condition of these bills affect the value as well, but $180 for that $2 bill. All right, next up is a 2003 $2 bill. Looks pretty normal on the back printing of the bill. Here on the face of the bill, we see that it has a misalignment error, and that is taking place there on that black seal. You can see that it is not aligned correctly. So always pay attention to your dollar bills out there. You know, this could happen on a $1 bill or $5 bill and other denominations as well. And you can go to the bank, get stacks of dollar bills and search for errors like this. This bill sold for $372 at auction. Next up is a $2 bill from 1995. And you know, if you're just taking a glance at it, you probably wouldn't catch something like this. Uh, it could easily be passed up in circulation, but it does have a board break. And we'll see that as we zoom in there on the face of the bill. So always pay attention to your bills. This $2 bill sold for $192 at auction. This next $2 bill from 1976 has a pretty obvious error taking place here it has a misaligned overprint so you see the seals and the serial numbers are not aligned correctly on uh, you know the left or the right side of the bill so that is obvious this two dollar bill sold for three hundred dollars at auction here's another pretty obvious error as well so when this bill was being printed that fold was taking place and then that print of the green seal and the number and part of the serial number uh, and letters there were printed on top of that fold. So that gives the bill a lot of value. This 1976 $2 bill sold for over $4,000 at auction. You guys want some free silver? I give silver coins away literally every single Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time on the WhatNot app. We put coins in front of the camera, we start it off at a dollar, and it sells for whatever it sells for. $3, $100, $5. If you guys want to get in on the free giveaways, click that link in the comments below. I got my WhatNot link on there. You guys get $15 free credit. And you know what that means. You can go over there and get one of my books from my whatnot shop absolutely free with your $15 credit or you can buy some silver silver and gold is on the rise I mean come on you can't pass up getting $15 off a silver coin or if you buy anything under $15 you get it absolutely free with your whatnot credit so feel free to hit that link in the comments below sign up today catch me Friday night 7 p.m. Eastern time you don't even have to use the $15 credit on my live stream you can go to any seller on whatnot if you want to buy purses shoes, yard sale items, storage units, jewelry, coins, whatever you want, Pokemon cards, sports cards, you can buy it with your $15 credit. And I'll see you guys over there. Click that link in the comments below. Here's a 1976 $2 bill that looks normal on both sides, the face of the bill and the back printing of the bill. And you know, most people would never ever find this. However, us collectors know to look for things like this. So what you want to look for is a mismatched prefix error or mismatched serial number error. In this case, it's the prefix error. So you'll see on the left side of the bill, it starts with H, it has the numbers, and it ends in A. Now, on the right side of the bill, it starts with B, has the numbers, ends with A. So the numbers in the A is correct, but the H and the B are mismatched. So that will give the bill a lot of value. These numbers and letters are supposed to be identical on both the right and left side of the bill, but if you find one that's not, then you're in for some money because this $2 bill sold for over $450. Here's another error that you can always look for. Some may not be as extreme as this, uh, some could be even more noticeable than this, but this is an offset printing error. So you can see the back printing of the bill here coming through on the face of the $2 bill. Now this $2 Federal Reserve note sold for $300. I'm not sure why I have another mismatched prefix letter on here, but I 
do. Same thing, this one starts with H, ends in A, and the other side starts in B, ends in A. Uh, this one sold for $312 at auction. Next up is a star note, $2 bill from 1976. This Federal Reserve note has a misalignment error, which you can see there, the serial number is misaligned. And that is pretty obvious, it is a star note as well, and it starts with zero, zero. So there are different serial numbers that you can look for that can be valuable as well, like low and high serial numbers and birthday notes. Uh, some people collect those, they're not super valuable. Uh, but there are different ones, radars and binaries, different numbers on bills that can make them valuable, which I talk about in my book, A Guide to Paper Money Hunting. So make sure you pick up a copy of it in the link below. I show you rare dollar bills that you can look for from the bank in that book. It's very visual and simple to understand. I show you all kinds of different numbers and errors to look for. Pick up that book today. It is available in the link in the comments below. Or it is also tagged to this video, uh, which you should see it at some point. All right, so this bill sold for $384. Moving on to a 1976 $2 bill that sold for over $2,000, and it's pretty obvious. We have an inverted overprint here, so you'll see the seals and the serial numbers are upside down and on opposite sides of the bill. So, over $2,100 for a $2 bill. Here's something that you can always look for on any denomination of bills as well, $1 bills, $2, $5, $10, $20, $50, 100 and so on. This is a 1976 $2 bill that has an ink smear error, which we can see there as we're zooming in on the $2 bill. This banknote ended up selling for around $120 at auction. Now here's a gutter fold error taking place on a 1976 $2 bill. I think it kind of speaks for itself. You can see that fold in the area where it was not printed does not have any ink on it because it was folded at the time that it was printed. Uh, so this is a gutter fold that sold for $336. Now here's another example of a gutter fold just going right down, you know, almost through the center of the $2 bill. You know, some of these can be much smaller than this and not as noticeable so they could be easy to pass up. This is very noticeable, of course, but this $2 bill ended up selling for $228. Speaking of a fold error, this is a butterfly fold taking place on a 1976 $2 bill that is in not very good condition, but the bill still sold for $528 because that is an extremely rare error to have or to take place on a banknote. Uh, you know, had this been in much better condition, it could have sold for thousands of dollars. And one of the rarest $2 bills, man, and really banknote errors that you can look for on any type of bill is a doubled print error. So I think this kind of speaks for itself, kind of gives that 3D look to it on the seals and the serial numbers because it was printed twice and that will give the bill an enormous amount of value. This $2 bill ended up selling for over $19,000 at auction. So if you wanna learn more, feel free to check out the rest of my paper money videos. Just type in rare dollar bills, couch collectibles, and you'll find those videos. And don't forget to pick up my book in the comments below, a guide to paper money hunting and a guide to coin hunting. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comments section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.